let's say you came across this question in your jump exam how will you solve it it is very easy now let's solve together the question says the purest form of naturally occurring carbon is now before solving any question in chemistry it is important for you to know specifically the topic to which that question is from from the look of things this question is from a very important non-metal and that non-metal is simply called carbon all right so basically this question is on carbon and its compounds are you there so listen carefully it must be noted here that carbon as an element exists in different allotropic forms all right so this must be noted you can see i just pronounced a term in this question so it is important for me to explain what this means all right carbon as an element exists in different words allotropic forms are you there the word allotropic came from another word called allotropy so what is allotropy it must be noted here that allotropy is the existence of an element it is the existence of one element one particular element all right so in this case the element is carbon it is the existence of an element in more than one forms in the same physical state listen carefully so carbon as an element now carbon as an element you are looking at exists in different forms but all of these forms to which carbon is existing they are all in the same physical states are you there so now the question you ask yourself what are the different forms or specifically what are the different allotropic forms to which carbon exists now carbon exists majorly in two allotropic forms which are the crystalline carbon all right or we can as well say the crystalline allotropic form of carbon and as well as the amorphous allotropic forms of carbon now listen carefully what are the crystalline allotropic forms of carbon majorly we have examples like diamond diamond is one major you know crystalline allotropic form of carbon we also have another crystalline allotropic form of carbon which include what we call graphite the reason why they are called crystalline allotropic form of carbon is because looking at the way they are looking at their structure they look like crystals all right just listen it is important for you to know the examples of you know substances under the crystalline allotropic form of carbon which include diamond graphite there is another called graphene all right there's also another called fullerenes are you there specifically you can call them buck means fullerenes all right so these are majorly the crystalline allotropic form of carbon though they are others all right but the question asks yourself what are the amorphous allotropes of carbon listen carefully the amorphous allotropes of carbon include what we call coal all right coal is a carbon but specifically amorphous allotrope of carbon include what we call charcoal there is another called charcoal include what we call soot include what we call lamp black all right lamp black so these are the major amorphous allotropic forms of carbon are you there so now in this question they're not asking us the purest form of naturally occurring carbon so these are the different examples of naturally occurring carbon so out of them which is the purest it is called diamond are you there so the answer to this question becomes option c so moving further others are still pure but the purest of them all is diamond are you there so listen carefully but if i am to be specific if they are asked what is the purest form of the amorphous allotrope of carbon i will simply say charcoal we have different types of charcoal we have what we call the sugar charcoal animal charcoal and wood charcoal so out of the charcoal that is the purest form of amorphous allotrope of carbon actually it is the sugar charcoal that is the purest 
are you there so all of this must be noted so you can see where all of these other options actually came from to have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of this type of question i already have them on the chemistry masterpiece okay which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry so if you are preparing to write the jam exam this book is very very important for you now for more information getting the chemistry masterpiece do well to direct message me via my whatsapp number it will be on the screen so we've come to the end of this lesson if you find my video lesson helpful make sure you click on the subscribe button to my channel and also share my lessons with your friends thanks for watching